Hey guys, it's your girl Rashida Diva coming at you with another video. Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So, it is... 6.22 a.m. Um, I'm getting ready for work. Today's the last, today's the, it's the weekend. Okay, so I'm off tomorrow. Um, I have my waist trainer on. Get into it. Get into it. You see the shape coming? Get into it. And also, the waist trainer, listen, it's thick. So this is the thickness of it. It's thick. So it actually makes the waist part of my pants a little tight, you know, but listen, get, 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 get into it. Get into the waist. <laughs> Let me say, yeah. So I, um, yeah, I seen last night where I made the um the acorn squash. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some um turkey, I'm gonna put it on top of that, and I'm gonna have that for lunch today. Um for breakfast this morning, I'm gonna have some should I have some of these? This is Devin's this is Devin's cereal. This is the Simply Granola Host Honey Raisin Almond. It's like a granola cereal. It says for two thirds of a cup is 270 calories. So probably three thirds of a cup is probably like 300 calories maybe or 320 calories, who knows. For this amount, it's only 2% of sodium and it has um, 8 grams of added sugar, so it's 16 grams of sugar all together. Um, it's not that bad. You know, it's early in the morning. I'm gonna burn it off. Um, hello. Say hello to my kitty cats. They wanna say good morning. This is Kenji. And my oldest cat. Hey, hi. Hey, hi, Doodle. That's Kenji. That's Dwight. That's the one you hear running. But I, I refer to my cat as being bad. That's Dwight. Say hi, Dwight. He like a bat, right? And then it's Destiny. Hey, Destiny. Hey, Mama. But anyway, um, today. I'm trying to I'm trying to leave early so I can have a good day. Remember I had the coffee yesterday. Do you guys think it's still gonna be good? I left it in my truck. No, my truck is gonna be freezing, so it's like it's being in the fridge. And I also have a banana in there too. So that way I don't have to buy a snack. And I have the rest of my water from yesterday and a whole a whole nother water because of the buy one get one free. So I don't have to really buy anything snack wise. I like to have a little crunch. Wonder if I should add some shaved almonds to this pumpkin. I have a little bit of shaved almonds. I'ma add it. I'ma add it. So this is my um shaved almonds. I only have a little bit left. But that's enough for some crunch. And then I'm gonna have the turkey. I'm gonna add it to it. Alright guys, so this is my food. This is my lunch. Um, let me tell you, that cereal, if you want a jaw workout, whew, my jaws are killing me. All that crunch, crunch, crunch. So, I'm gonna ready to leave, and I'll see you guys later when I'm on lunch break. Can you guys see me good? All right, guys, so. Um, do I have the light on? Yeah, I have it on. Can you see me? Is it better like this? I have my phone light on my face now nah, I'm gonna turn the light on so I'm off work 
and um i had my lunch which was the um acorn squash with the turkey and i went to h mart because i wanted to buy some fish and it's like always when i go somewhere i'm supposed to get one thing and i get another so i got me some more ramen that you know i'm not gonna even freaking eat when am i gonna have when, when am i gonna eat this i'm on a freaking diet when am i gonna eat this but it's the kimchi ramen i never had it i wanted to get it and then i got me some sweet and sour tofu it looks good it almost looks like chicken a little bit and i got me some la oh shoot it's called um beef short rib slices but um it's and this is from h mart and it's called la galbi la galbi so i got this and i have the sauce that you use with it i got me some squash this is the sauce that you use on it right here this is the sauce that you use and then i got um the fish the mackerel that i wanted to get and i got me a piece of squash uh, oh i also got me um some finger maki it's carrot spinach and cucumber with some rice there's no meat okay so i'm hungry i think i'm pretty much gonna have this for dinner because I don't know what I'm gonna eat when I get home. So I'm gonna spray on my hand sanitizer signs. And I'm going to dig in. Take the first bite with you guys. I think this is pretty much like um what you call it the quality is so bad okay. it's good it's um like a timba Mmm. Mmm. It's imitation crab meat in here. It's salty. Mm mm. I don't like that. I'm gonna push it out. That is salty, baby. My um work day went pretty easy, guys. Um, but today I'm gonna try this body wash. Okay, I'm gonna try it, and I'm scared to try it. I heard things about it, but we're gonna try it together. And see how it is. So I see you guys when I get home and I'm taking a shower. Alright, so I'm back, y'all. So today was a crazy day, but this is the main part that I've been waiting for all day. And this is what this video is about. Okay. I've been seeing this all over. And I said I wanted to try this product. Okay. I feel like I'm cricket, but whatever. So, I wanted to try this product. I'm gonna like lean, cause I feel like, I feel like I'm gonna gain so lean, so I'm gonna lean a little bit too. All right, so, um, this product, Dr. Bronner's 18 in one hemp peppermint pure castor, is it castor? Castile soap, okay? This is what this is, okay? I will read to you what it says. It says, Family Soap Maker since 1858, Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Peppermint 
Pure Castile Soap Certified Fair Trades made with organic oils. Ingredients, water, organic coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, organic palm kernel oil, organic olive oil, mentha arvensis, organic hemp oil, organic Jehovah oil, mentha paperta, paperta, citric acid, and tocopherol. So we're going to do something. What is Menta Arvensis? Okay, it's a wild mint. And this is probably that too. What is Menta Papertia? I mean, I don't think I'm saying that right. That's peppermint. You guys, I'm scared to use this. I'm not going to even lie because it's saying to dilute, to use. It says one small squirt. It's not even open yet. Like, I've never used this before, you guys. Okay. It smells like peppermint. I'm trying to see how liquidy it is. I don't want it on my hand. I wanted to see how liquidy it is because I didn't, the, the way it's saying to dilute it, I didn't want to just be on some, put it on my rag and it's too much. So, let's see. That is, it gets soapy. Put a little bit of water in it. So, you're about to see. Oh, I was to say, this feel cold. It's cold water. Y'all, I'm scared. Y'all know how I feel about tingly stuff. All right. About to get undressed. About to get in the shower. I'm not washing my lady bits with that. Okay. But, uh, yeah, we want to see what this do. So. All right. Here we go, y'all. There we go. I wet my whole body. Wet my rag. I'm scared. I'm read it again. One small squirt applied to wet wash floor. To wash hands, face, and body. I'm not washing my face because I'm scared. One small squirt. I did like five drops. I don't know if that constitutes. Uh, I'm trying to lather it up. All right, working on my left arm. It has not lathered up like I like. But smell it. I'm scared to put more. <laughs> I'm scared to put more. Uh, I'll put a little bit more. And I'll give it like a real lather because. Alright. All right, here we go. It's nice and soapy now. All right. I 
Washing the body, washing the left arm, right arm. Chest, neck. Tummy. It smells good. It smells like peppermint. It's like Christmas. So far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. It's like, it almost feels like it's, it's putting lotion on me at the same time almost. Does that make sense? Like, I guess because of the, the oil that's in it. You know, like certain other soaps, like no shade, but in my opinion, like I'm using a little bit more because the soapiness. You know, some other soaps like Irish Spring, they dry, dry, well, they dry my skin out. They may not dry y'all skin out, but they dry my skin out. And this is actually, I feel like as I wash, I feel like it's actually cleaning my skin. And it's also getting some moisturizing going on within my... Oh, 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 my goodness. I wash my backside. And the tingles. The tingles are a mingling. The tingles are a mingling. Oh boy. It's not bad though. It's not bad. It's a little tingle tingle. To be honest. To be honest. I'd rather this tingle. I think from this peppermint, the tingle that I feel is more of a freshness tingle as opposed to that other one if we being honest and it, and I guess for me it also associated with the smell of peppermint and the coolness and the freshness of it you know what I'm saying so if anything yeah this the cooling woo, it's tingly <laughs> um, I'm not washing the lady bits with this that is not gonna happen. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll wash the lady bits with the Lenny Soul. So we can feel the difference and the power. Menthol against peppermint. Let's see. That's what we about to do right now. That's what we about to do right now. Oh yeah, it's a different tingle. It's a different tingle. Ah, oh, I don't like it. Oh my goodness. I don't like it. Maybe, maybe I should use the other one on the front. No, I'm not doing that now. I don't know. No, it don't say nothing about pH. No, I'm not going to use it. I would, I'm not going to use it. But, mm -mm. the tingle from that Lemmy saw is, is, is off the chain. <laughs> okay guys so i'm out of the shower um i feel really clean um i had to put a little more than just a few drops to get it like really lathery on the wash rag um so far it was on my skin I don't feel any difference it just smells like a lot of peppermints um the texture of it it feels like it's oily but now that i'm out the shower your girl is ashy okay i am the opposite and um yeah when i washed my rear up in there it was tingly and I would assume that it would be tingly on the lady parts as well, but I didn't use it. I actually used the lemon salt that I tried out, and that 
tingling sensation is just ridiculous. I would actually prefer the peppermint if it feels the same way back there than to do it. If it feels the same way I do back there, if it feels like that in the front, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother me. Because if anything, I feel like that's more of a cleaning smell. Um, Devin said, I asked him to smell my skin. He said it smells like a hint of peppermint. But the smell of the wash is so strong that if you go into the bathroom, it just smacks you in the face, the peppermint smell. But, yeah. So, would I recommend this product? Yes, I recommend it. And I think I only use like, a little bit of it. Like, I barely use that much of it, you know. And I brought a small bottle of it. So that's that um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video for father's day see